In this section, we will discuss about another important property of the Euler's estimators that is the blue property or it is now also known as Gauss-Markov theorem. The Gauss-Markov theorem can be explained as follows. Given the assumptions of classical linear regression model, the least square estimators in the class of unbiased linear estimators have minimum variance that is they are blue. This is the Gauss-Markov theorem or blue property. It is known as blue property. Blue means the linear unbiased estimator will be the best. That is the blue property. Linear unbiased estimator will have minimum variance and it will be the best estimator. This is termed as best linear unbiased estimator or blue property of the estimators. That is given the assumptions of classical linear regression model this is important given the assumptions of classical linear regression model the least square estimators least square estimators are beta 1 cap and beta 2 cap in the case of simple linear regression model in the class of unbiased and linear estimators if they are linear and unbiased then they have minimum variance their variance also will be minimum this is termed as gauss markov theorem that is given the assumptions of classical linear regression model the least square estimators which follows or which have which the least square estimators which are linear and unbiased have minimum variance or they are the best linear unbiased estimator or this best linear unbiased estimator property is known as simply blue property let us see the blue property. The first property is linear, second property is unbiased and third one is minimum variance. These three properties are the properties or the blue property or you know to follow the gauss marco are the blue property and then it follows the gauss marco theorem. First one linear, um, we have already explained this uh, then also I am repeating this for once more. Here it is a linear, that is, it is a linear function of random variables such as dependent variable, that is, beta 2 cap equal to sigma xi by a by sigma xi square, that equal to sigma of ki by a, then uh, where ki equal to xi by sigma xi square. That means uh, beta 2 cap is a linear function of the dependent variable. This is the linear property. The second property is the unbiased property. Uh, the unbiased property says that the average or the expected value, which is denoted as expected value of beta 2, is equal to the true value of beta. True value that is beta 2, that is expected value of beta 2 cap equal to beta 2 cap. The proof is uh, given here beta 2 cap equal to sigma xi by a by sigma xi square. This can be written as sigma summation ki by a. And then substitute this yi by beta 1 plus beta 2 xi then apply the uh, rules sigma ki equal to 0 sigma ki xi equal to uh, 1 etc then we will get beta 2 plus sigma ki ui that is expected value of beta 2 cap equal to uh, this beta 2 into 1 is beta 2 plus sigma ki ui since k u expected value of ui equal to 0 this term equal to 0 and the remaining portion is expected value of beta 2 cap equal to beta or this equal to beta that is expected average or the expected value of beta 2 cap equals to the true beta this is the second property and the third one is the minimum variance property of the least square estimators the third property is that the estimators will have minimum variance in the class of all such linear unbiased estimators an unbiased estimator with the least variance is known as efficient variant estimator that is the variance should be the minimum the variation should be the minimum that is the meaning of variance the minimum variance property this is defined this can be explained as follows then uh, we know that uh, beta 2 cap equal to sigma ki yi that is here uh, ki equal to xi by x bar which shows that beta 2 cap is a weighted average of y which end with ki serving as weights. Let us define an alternative linear estimator of beta 2. 
can beta 2 as follow beta 2 as beta 2 star here beta 2 cap is defined as sigma k i y r then k i equal to x i by sigma x i square like uh, like that let us define another alternative another estimator say it as beta 2 star then it can be defined as sigma w i y i w i is the weight like k i this one would be equal to k i but it is a weight it is x i by sigma x i square the, the formula everything is same but the value won't be the same then it is from another sample that this is from one sample this is from another sample beta 2 and beta 2 beta 2 cap and beta 2 star sigma w i y i then expected value beta 2 star equal to sigma of w i expected value of y i like the earlier one the expected value of uh, beta 2 star is given in d sigma of w i expected value of y i then now replace the expected value of yi equal to the beta 1 plus beta 2 xi then uh, sigma of wi into beta 1 plus beta 2 xi then multiply this term by w and distribute the summation term then it will equal to beta 1 sigma wi plus beta 2 sigma wi xi then the other properties like sigma wi equal to 0, sigma wi xi equal to 1. Subst uh, substituting that we will get the expected value of beta 2 star equal to beta 2. That is, it is the linear estimator. That is, expected value of beta 2 or the average value of beta 2 star equal to beta 2. Now the variance, similarly we can define the variance also, variance of beta 2 star equal to variance of sigma w i y i, that is sigma w i square into variance of y i, like the earlier one, this equals to sigma square into sigma w i square, now this can be written as sigma square into summation of w i minus x i by sigma x i square plus x i by sigma x i square the whole x i the whole square one term is added and the other one is subtracted then the value will remain the same this is only a mathematical trick Here the equation can be written as by expanding this we can treat this as a and treat this as b then a plus b the whole square this the whole square this term whole square plus the this term whole square then 2 into this terms then this multiply the whole by sigma square then it will be equal to sigma square sig summation of w i minus x i by the uh, sigma x i square plus sigma square sigma x i by the by c square plus 2 sigma square um, since this equal to 0 the whole term will be equal to 0 then the remaining portion is sigma square sigma of w i minus uh, x i by sigma x i is the whole square plus sigma square by sig uh, into 1 by sigma x i square here the variance of beta 2 star equal to this is the variance of beta 2 variance of beta 2 plus a cos po positive quantity this is the implication sigma square by sigma x i square this positive quantity this is the variance of beta 2 cap and here variance of beta 2 star will be equal to variance of beta 2 cap plus or variance of beta 2 plus a positive quantity that is it will be equal it will be greater if let w equal to x i by sigma x i square then 
the this equation if we let this weight equal to xi by xi square like the other the weight of the variance of weight of beta 2 cap then this will be equal to zero the remaining portion will be sigma square by sigma xi square that is variance of beta 2 star will be equal to sigma that is if like a ki wi is defined can be defined as xi by sigma xi square then variance of beta 2 star will be equal to sigma square by sigma xi square since this term will equal to zero that is it will be equivalence of beta 2 star will be equal to variance of beta 2 if the weights are different then the variance of beta 2 if variance of beta 2 will be different otherwise it will variance of beta 2 star will be greater than variance of beta 2 then what is the difference between the variance of beta 2 and variance of beta 2 star the gauss markov theorem can be explained with the help of the following diagram here the um, the mean values of two uh, different samples are given here the expected value of beta 2 equal to beta is given and the expected value of beta 2 star equal to beta is also given here um, that means both are linear and they are unbiased also that these two equation these two samples comes under the linear and unbiased estimator then the question is which estimator we would select both from the same the sample both are linear and unbiased then which sample we will select this can be explained with the help of these figure here we have superimposed these two figures the beta the distribution of beta 2 star is more diffused or widespread than beta 2 that is the variance will be larger in beta 2 star we had to select the sample which have minimum variance or which have minimum spread therefore the best estimator is the beta 2 estimator here the variance will be the minimum variance a minimum therefore we can select this and therefore the gauss markov theorem says that given two estimators that are linear and unbiased here this is linear and unbiased this beta 2 cap is linear and unbiased beta 2 star also is linear and unbiased but we have to select the estimator with minimum variance. This is the blue property or the blue estimator.